Following breaking news out of Tequila right now, just southeast of South Center Mall, several cars and dumpsters there on fire in four separate locations right now. Let's get right out to Como's Lee, still live in the 800 block of Industry Drive with what we know so far. Lee? Yeah, good morning. So again, we have five different fires. All of them seem to be connected. All of them at this point seem to be suspicious. Fire and police, they've been talking to each other. Let me get out of the way. We're on industry drive and you can see one of those larger vehicles that caught fire. This was the first one that was reported. Someone across the street luckily was in this industrial area. A lot of these businesses are closed right now, so not a lot of people around, but that person did call 911 and when crews got out here, this uh, vehicle was fully involved. There is a Another car, a vehicle around the corner and down the alleyway that also caught fire. When responding crews were coming here, they were able to spot another fire in the 600 block, which is about 200 blocks away from where we are. And then again, a dumpster fire in the 16,400 block of West Valley, and then a garbage can fire over at Embassy Suite. So, of course, police, they're in the area right now with investigators, fire investigators here as well. Uh, this fire and all the other fires they are out right now that is the good news and nobody was hurt but right now police are canvassing the area not only looking for who might be responsible but also if there was anyone else who was in the area who might have seen what had happened but at this point all of these fires seem to be out it started at about 2:50 this morning that this rash of fires started to build and it's been quiet since then so fingers crossed by the crews who are here saying that they hope this is the end of it as they're now looking for who is responsible so we'll stay out here we'll let you know what we find out Back to you. This is new video from Stevens Pass. Look at that. Now set to open for skiing on Wednesday. What a difference a week makes, right? Here's a live look there now where you can see there's some fresh snow from over the weekend. People hitting Stevens Pass this season will not need a reservation to ski or ride. A reminder, though, anyone over the age of two will need to mask up when indoors. The summit at Snoqualmie, by the way, opens tomorrow. But there is also caution being urged in the Cascades after a deadly weekend in the backcountry. Six people were swept up in an avalanche on Crystal Mountain on Saturday. One of them died. Como's Michelle Esteban has new details about what happened and about the man who lost his life. Yes, yeah, some sad news to report here tonight. We learned from the Pierce County Medical Examiner that the man who lost his life is from Issaquah. We now know 66-year-old Bob Weisel, a husband and father, was the man killed here on Crystal Mountain Saturday morning. And more heartbreak. Authorities say Weisel's adult son was also one of the six people caught in that deadly avalanche. Two nearby skiers raced to help find and free them. We had uh, forecasted considerable danger for that area. Um, and I think... You know, it's just a, a tragic reminder that avalanches can happen early season. Scott Shell is the executive director of NWAC, the Northwest Avalanche Center, where they forecast avalanche risk. Their preliminary investigation reveals the party of six backcountry tours triggered the avalanche, and we're heading up Silver Basin at 6,500 feet when it let loose. Take the transceiver and you turn it on. All of them were wearing an avalanche transceiver. If buried, others in your group can follow a victim's transmitting signal to find them. I mean, without this, how much harder would it have been to find these people? Uh, hard to say in the particular case, but I can definitely attest in general. It's really challenging to find people buried under the snow if they're not wearing one. Time is of the essence. I had to rescue uh, several people. Mountain guide and owner of Pro Ski and Mountain Services in North Bend, Martin Vulcan, has led countless expeditions in the Pacific Northwest. He's never been caught in an avalanche and insists checking and heating NWAC's avalanche forecast is always his first move. Just as important is your planning and prep before you go out. Saturday's AV forecast warned of dangerous avalanche conditions. Shell says forecast, training, and equipment are key. Avalanche transceiver, an avalanche probe, and an avalanche shovel. Michelle Esteban, Como News.
Hey everybody, I'm Eric Johnson from Como News. Thanks for checking out the Como YouTube channel. You can see more of our videos right here by clicking on the video links for more news from the Seattle area and all of Western Washington. And don't forget to click the subscribe button below 